good morning guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing amazing great this morning i will show you how to make a church flyer on your android smartphone using pcla if you want to continue learning new skills and graphics using your smartphone keep on watching my channel for daily tips and amazing tutorial and watch this tutorial to the end as you can see i will show you how to achieve this particular design without any stress using your piece of lab. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Take up graphic skills with creativity. Good day guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I will show you how to make another church flyer in your Android smartphone using PC Lab. Today in this tutorial you will learn a lot of things because you will see I will still add more to your experience on how to combine color. Yes, and how to uh, or combine font as well and I'll quickly show you how you can make a simple flyer without any stress so without wasting much of our time let's start just go to the gallery and then we don't need to choose our size go to the gallery and bring a background and this is the background that we are going to use then from the background we are going to tap all our colors the colors we are going to use we tap it from this particular background and if you look at this background very well you could be able to discover that <coughs> it will look like a texture i mean gradients so where many color is being combined so we are going to utilize this then the next thing that we are going to do to make our work easier is to go to the shapes then you see the radius turn the radius to 100 then after doing that we click ok then we'll draw out we'll, we'll draw out all the shape the shape exactly like this but one thing i want us to learn here is this after we after we have closed this that is when we are drawing it then when you look at the edge the edge is blur somehow which means we have to do that inside this when you do it when you are still turn on when you select the shapes the head will still be smooth but if you don't do that you see the edge is very smooth but if you have already select you have selected it before before you are zooming it out exactly like this then you will realize that uh, the edge is blur somehow and it will make the design really okay now after that we are we will try at least to make it like this you so, see how i'm doing that then the next thing is to bring this one down a little bit as well then bring it up a bit just do it how you want it how you your you fit do it to your best understand then after that let go to rotation and rotate a little bit as you can see let rotate a little bit so we're almost there so after doing this then we click ok now let's go to our gallery to select the image you are going to use so the image you are going to use is this then go to uh, uh, go to relative size and increase the image exactly like this and as you can see the next thing that we are going to do is to send the image to the back like this then we will now adjust the image to make it look more presentable so and as you can see see how I made uh, I adjust the image then the next thing to do is to still rotate these are shapes you see the way i'm rotating the shapes 
for 30 shapes like this then after that the next thing that we're going to do is to lock the two after locking it then you go to the shapes and select another shape crop it like this and bring it down to cover this mess understand let it cover like this let it cover then click on this round shapes and move it up a little bit good good so so after we're able to do this the rest is very very simple what i'm going to do right now is to lock this tap on this then come here and bring this one in now good now let's go with our right up we'll type the name of the pasta the name of the pasta so the font we are going to use to type the fab pasta will be quite different from the font the name of the pasta now the font i'm going to use here is called cabin cabin board and as you can see then you click ok now crop it when you crop it to the minimal level to your taste then you position it here now you can actually go back to the test and type the name of the pastor which is uh which is roland roland, roland A -A. so as you can see so after that we will now go to the back to where we want to select the font and select biba font the font we are going to use is called biba font and as you can see i selected that then you reduce the size reduce the size like this and then after reducing the size move it up and click ok you make sure that they are very very aligned to each other so after you have done this then we are good to go the next thing we are going to do is to go back to our gallery and select this particular shape select the shapes then you use your relative size to position it and as you can see where it was placed then you lock it together with other right up so after that then the next thing to do is to click on the Roland. Then you copy it because we are maintaining the same font and we don't need to be selecting font always. So it will now be L N L F F. And that is what that is the approbation of the church program. Now after doing that, we will now go to the size and increase the size. A little bit and position it inside this black so it's not occupy it then you reduce the size after reducing the size you bring it down and we can actually what go to the board and cancel everything now we can go to the movement position the position then to increase good now come to position and position it well very good so after that we will now go back to the form that we used to type pastor we copy it then we edit it because it's a cabin font and the font we are going to use the right one is cabin font cabin font then you write the join us with this and this is where we want to use our color picker go to the color and click on plus sign click on the top you see there is where click on this then you use your color picker to select the color you want to use to give this so i've selected the color then i will position it under this and as you can see the way i'm doing it here yeah, the only beauty and the skill behind this is you are going to use your hand to set up the alignment so if you are not really good in terms of alignment it's possible that you will fuck up 
with this then after that after writing the join us then the next thing that we're going to do is to still copy because we are maintaining the same font so here we will now write online for online form. so as you can see then we increase the size so after increasing the size we will position it very well exactly like this it won't work it will move to one side than another and after we already after we position it and place it properly we will now go to the color then we use our color picker again to select the color that will be somehow deep than the first color exactly like this then after you are able to do that because there must be the difference between i mean time of color between join us online for and online that is the motive you are you getting it that is the message you want to pass across so in the light of that you must be able to know how to make that to be very obvious either in terms of uh, in terms of the color or in terms of the size but i use the color to differentiate them then you type workshop workshop then you click ok now go to the board and board it now bring it down and increase the size now go to the color which kind of color are we going to use here i want to use the texture then i will click on this first key and click on color then i will go to color picker and pick this color so after picking this color then the next thing to do is to click ok then i will still click ok then i will go to the second key tapping on it click on the color click on color picker then i will pick on the lighter one then i will click ok i will now go to this uh, template at the left hand side click at the, this one when you click on this one then you change this i want the deep one to be outside why the uh, uh, light color be out inside and as you can see that is what i'm doing so after that you click ok we are able to achieve our, and as you can see we are able to achieve our aim. now you increase the size of this increase the size like this as you can see then we can increase the size of the online as well online we can increase the size So as you can see, we can increase the size of it. So after that, we will have to give it a breathing space by leave a little space there. So after we are able to do that, then we copy the join and edit it by writing via Facebook. Via Facebook. Facebook. Then you click OK. Now we are going to position this underneath and by giving it what? by giving a little spacing then increase the space now you can position this under this so after we are able to do that the next thing we are going to do is to after position it like this then the next thing to do is to continue with the other right up then we are going to copy if you just place the copy workshop then we write sunday Sunday. then we use our color picker again this time around then it won't be a texture then we can oh we won't to use the color picker or oh, use it depending on how you want it but to me i want to use the color picker and pick a color that is not as deep So let's pick this let's see how it look so this is very very presentable as well so after that we we'll position this under this then we we'll reduce the size a little bit and position it here so after we we're able to do that then we will now copy the facebook and edit it then we will type service start at service start at service that at 11 a.m. Good. 
so after that then we are going to position this under sunday then we reduce the size sorry we are going to reduce the size a little bit we are going to reduce the size exactly like this and you can see right from beginning i mean that i'm just using the manual way of uh, make uh, uh, align all the dust then after putting this then the next thing that we are going to do is to use a deep color color that is deep than this which is this which is very very okay so after we are able to do that then we copy we copy sunday then we edit or we'll type wednesday wednesday so you can see then we'll bring it down and position it under this so you can see we we'll position it under this then we'll pick a deep color for that as well deep color deep color so after we we're able to do that then we'll now write When is the when the service is going to start on when is it? We copy then we tap service start at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Then we bring it down and position it under this. So we can use our, our movement position arrow to position it very well. So exactly, this is how I want it to be. Then the next thing that we're going to do right now is to, sorry, is to go down and give a color to this, to this line that cover up the leg of the pasta. Then we we'll give it this color or something lighter like this. Then we can actually increase, but we can use go back and use our color picker to pick the correct one that we want so after using the color picker we can now what we can go and unlock it so that we have the opportunity to edit it so we can do it this way so as you can see we do it like this then after that we go to lock and lock everything we lock it then we we'll back then the next thing that we're going to do is to go to our gallery then we select the facebook icon exactly like this then we'll go to relative size and position it underneath then now the next thing that we're going to do is to lock this as well then we'll now go to any of these tests which is when a this service or let's say service that then we we'll go to copy and copy then we we'll go to edit and update it and type facebook facebook dot com dot com slash slash n slash n l f f f f so you can see then we click ok now this one we give it a black color or white color we give it a white color then we will now position this on here then we'll go to the size and reduce the size exactly like this as you can see you can reduce the size very well and position it here and then we'll go to the board and board it so we are able to achieve this and this is exactly how you can make a church flyer simple church flyer on your handheld smartphone using pc lab thanks for watching god bless you